kids making creations outside. They've been, they took the ash from the fire pit, I think, and mixed it with water and made ink, is what they called it. And so now they're making all these different creations. They've been out here for a, few, I feel like a couple hours doing this. Hey, Zo. Hey, Mama. But now it's about to rain and wash it all away. Hopefully wash it all away. Welcome to Saturday. We're here doing bread machine things. It's 10.39. I've been already working, getting a lot of things done. Um, I have laundry going in my yellow room back there, so I've been in there today. We're listening to our Saturday playlist. So I'll try to stay away from that so I don't get copyrighted. Um, and I'm getting ready to make my pizza with my bread dough. So I'm about to make three or four of those. And then also make a couple loaves of bread. It was cold this morning when um, the kids got up to take out the dogs. It was 49 degrees, which is cold. And the high today is 67, which is cold. So, um, right now I'm just checking my freezer in the garage to see how much bread I have because, oh, a pretty good amount of bread. Uh, all right there is bread. So I'm just trying to gauge on after I make this pizza dough, do I come back around and make a couple loaves of bread? So we'll see if I get around to that. But laundry has been going good as always. I'm about to fold some. As always, let me grab my phone. Just finished washing. Where did I put my phone? Oh, right there. Just finished washing dishes. And I still have my master bathroom to clean and a couple kids to shower. But it's going really, really well today. The boys and Devon are uh, doing like this men's thing that they do this morning. They, I think they're landscaping our church and then they're doing some like a workout or something like that. So they are bonding and doing man things while the rest of us and the younger boys, my two oldest boys and my husband are doing that. I don't know why I opened that, but now I'm just about to fold this laundry and we don't really have a lot planned today. Um, it's just all about cleaning. It does always about cleaning. Cleaning. I'm going to get some, getting some food projects done. I do have to head to the thrift store. I need another 9 by 13 pan, and they're having it like 50% off at the thrift store that I like. And they have decent um, like uh, clothing and stuff. So I'm gonna go there and check their kitchen department and see if I can find a 9 by 13 pan for like who knows um, what I can pay for it there. But we'll see if I can find anything there. I'll probably do that in a little bit once I get some of the other kids bathed. And then we can all head out together but it's really the plan for today i mean it's not really a lot going on not really a lot going on it's just the same old same old me and my yellow room rachel and her yellow room so i'll just keep plugging along here and getting things done um i have some some organi organization to do i have oh yeah i gotta put away all these clothes all these clothes are too small for kids that we're currently wearing them, so I'm gonna lay all that out. Maybe I'll show you all that and uh, get that put away today. So I do have a few things on the list, but it's not my normal list. This is like extras, which is really nice because I've been staying up on doing the regular deep cleaning. I get to do extra, which I love. I love that very much. Hopefully this works good. The dog just caused me to drop my camera real good. So hoping that it works. But I just wanted to show y'all what we had for dinner last night, which was this quesadillas that I got from a HelloFresh box um, a while ago, and I just continue to evolve the recipe. But it's got like pico de gallo on it. I fry pork sausage as the meat that we put in there with mozzarella cheese and habanero peppers and pineapples. It is delish, and there's sour cream um, drizzled on top. It's so good. Kids are outside playing in the driveway. I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you the like creations they've made on the driveway it's so good they're such a good artist and I'm I like I can draw I just don't like to um 
and Devon can draw. He spends time drawing, more time drawing with the kids than I do. I probably spend this much time drawing with the kids. I just don't like drawing. I could. I just, it's just not my thing. I sing. That's what I say. That's my artistic thing. Um, so, but yes, they they drew like a cow out there, a pony. They're just really good artists. And now, um, let me see how many kids are outside. Five kids are outside. Yes, because two of them are missing, and I have seven. So, five, seven minus two equals five. Five are outside, um, and I'm just in here enjoying my little leftovers and folding laundry. Got this little basket to do right here. Did all this already. Got that basket to go upstairs. Still have this humongous pile back here of stuff to size. Haven't got there yet, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. So I need to go upstairs and put the laundry away but it's not done yet so i have a load in the, dry the dryer a load in the washer and so i asked Devon if he wants to work on the leaves because at our the first house we ever bought we waited until every last leaf fell off the tree and it was terrible to rake so we have been doing a little bit every weekend and that's what we're going to do right now and kids are outside with dogs playing with the dogs so I'm just about to see the kids did some not that long ago but I'm about to go along the property line pull the leaves to where the tractor thing can get it and then Devon will drive through and pick it up so that's the goal right now and the time that I have while I'm waiting for the two loads of laundry to be done because I don't want to go upstairs do what I need to do upstairs without bringing the laundry upstairs I'm all about trying to be efficient so like hey while I wait for that let's go ahead and rake and I can't rake and hold the camera so I'm gonna put the camera down Sunday, we just got back from church. Obviously, we just got back from Bargain Hunt. And I'm about to try this Carolina Carolina Reaper extra hot flavored cheese curls. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't smell that hot. I think you know if something's hot. It doesn't even look hot. Yeah. Looks like a cheetah. Okay. Well. Got least. It's good. It's hotter than normal. It's really hot. Down. It's hot. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Look at Sony. Mom, I'm not hot. Me too. Which one likes it? All right, next thing we bought was truffle herb and Parmesan cheese flavored gourmet popcorn mix. I feel like it's gonna be a letdown. That's good. That Carolina popcorn is good. The cheese flavor is like a good cheese flavor. Yeah. Oh. It is a little more spicy than mom's food. Uh -huh. It is. But he doesn't complain about spice. I never hear him complain about yeah. spice. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's winter. Likes. Winter complains about spice. What? Wait, is it winter? I don't know. She doesn't complain about She just doesn't complain about spice. Okay. Truffle, herb, and Parmesan oh, cheese cool. flavor. Lame. Can I try? Stop it, Stormy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Baby, you want to try one for me? It tastes good. You, you won't even be like, oh, that's cheese flavor. I think it just tastes good. Come on, babes, you can do it. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Has a little kick to it. I don't know, but is the cheese making you go? Ugh. It's good, Racine. Why you don't be trusting me? 
Why do you trust me, man? What have I ever done to not deserve the trust? I told you it was good. Jordan, obviously you like you keep following the bag. Well, because everybody's turning it to a different direction, so I'm oh, trying to get to where it country. doesn't get turned on there. So there's no turn. Where are my wings? Huh? You didn't bring me to the door. Well, you didn't call them, so you can have it ready. Do you guys like the popcorn or do you think it's lame? I, think I, I like, like the popcorn. Sure. Are you okay? No. That's a target, that's not a bear. I'm dead. Why are you so close? Because I gotta warm up. Oh, huh. You look warm. Hey! Hi, Milo. I guess you could shoot if dad's out here. I guess you could eat if dad's out here. What? <laughs> Good morning from the doctor's office. Me and Miss River. <laughs> I had the sleep doctor um, taking a look at her tonsils and uh, how she sleeps. Um, she's always had an issue with breathing while she's sleeping. She snores and then her chest caves in a lot. So finally got their primary doctor situated. So because we went to a primary doctor, now we have a sleep doctor take a look at her. So we're out here, it's early, 8-11. So just me and her out here doing these things. So hopefully everything goes well and they can help me figure out how to help her breathe well. She's so cute, she's got a cracker. <laughs> okay, we're back home now, everybody's gone. We had to let the dogs out of the crate. Stormy is in heat, so um, I had to get her out of her crate and make sure her diaper and everything that we have on her is good. It's Columbus Day. Happy Columbus Day. So dad's home. We're about to watch some Columbus history, I think. Probably get a couple videos up on YouTube and read about Columbus and all that. Um, but listen, any of you guys are like super clean freaks, so this is my laundry basket that I have the kids to drop the laundry in. And like, why do they get so dirty? I guess dirty clothes in it. I'm getting ready to wash this because it's just bothering me. Thank you, River. Just set that down on the floor where the white basket normally is. And so I'm getting ready to just clean this out. I just wanted to know like, who else thinks of cleaning the weirdest things? I guess uh, social media has made that a bigger thing. Cleaning lots of things. Because there's all these clean tops and cleaning videos. But I just want things to be clean. Like, I just want things to be clean. Like, is there something wrong with just wanting things to be clean? I don't know. But that was nice. I just got that nice. That looks way better. And I'll let that dry. What's up, Thunder? What's up, Thunder? Thunder's losing his mind because Stormy's in heat, but she has a diaper on and he can't do anything. Yes? No. I got my dog laundry in, and now I'm gonna take this clean homeschool table and lay out all the items that I have put aside that were too small. And I'm gonna start working with sticky notes to get piles going so that Devon can know what bins to pull out of the attic and start putting things away. So I usually do, I try to do this, I think every six months or so, I think. I think that's how fast I have it in my calendar. So I'm just gonna work on getting that done now um, and hopefully checking that off the list of things to do.
just finished and this is basically what the table looks like. Waiting for Hubs to get home and help me put it all away. But as you can see, like the largest stack over there is my 12 year old boy stack. So my 13 year old had a good, nice little growth spurt. So uh, everything that he puts on in his closet is feeling too small. And so that's good. My 10 year old girl stack is probably second place here. Um, so we're gonna put all these away and get them prepared for the next child. Hopefully we don't need any more bins. I think we should be fine. We might need one more bin, I'm not really sure. Um, to make sure that we keep this stuff neat and so that we can find it and that we don't spend money when we don't need to. But my battery's about to die, so let me change Working that. on cleaning out this laundry room and so we got dog hair caught at the bottom of the crate, so we're gonna vacuum that up, but then dog hair all around the crate. So I'm about to vacuum, about to throw this dog cover in the washing machine. It says to wash with warm water, like use a brush and clean it. I don't have time for that. So I'm throwing the dishwasher on like a delicate setting so it doesn't tear up. Let me change it to it now and delicate did that. Okay, so, so it doesn't tear up and then take the vacuum cleaner, run it through this room. Winter just scrubbed down these dog bowls for me and cleaned those. And so I'm gonna scrub all this and get this nice and clean and fresh so I can move on with my life. Kids are outside with some dogs right now. Hazel's out there too, enjoying her best life. Okay, so I'm taking a little break. I'm having me a salad, my favorite salad. Wish I had some strawberries to put on it, but I don't, so. I'm eating, I have my little leech that's trying to come and eat my food too. She's just here because she wants food. But I don't think I'm giving her any. I had crackers for breakfast, so. I'm gonna eat my salad. And look out the window. Beautiful little window. With the green trees, I love green trees. And then tackle that laundry clip I showed you earlier. Devon's tackling all those clothes for me on that table back there. Well, gotta do what you do. So I'm done vacuuming, so the next thing I have to do is steam mop. Winter scrubbed up these bowls for me, they look much better. And um, scrubbed the mats for me, so now I just gotta steam mop to get it fully clean. And spray some Odo Ban in here. And I think that I can call my favorite yellow room clean after this. So that's what I will do. So I'm gonna wipe down this cabinet. I'm just looking at some of the mess that's on here. So I'll do that in a minute. This is where it ended. Right now I'm just waiting for the mats to dry. So go underneath these bowls, scrub some baseboards, scrub some things. Um, waiting for the mat to get out of the washer, to, or not the mat, but the cover. So go over the dog crate, steam mop. That's where I throw my dog laundry, so throw it on the floor. And I feel like, there's, some, there's still some areas where more cleaning can happen, but um, that's okay. I got basically the gist of it done. I'm gonna put my baskets back into the areas they go in and move on to the next thing, which I think will probably be a Bible study with me and two of my older kids. Um, Devon's in the garage doing, hanging, hanging up bikes. Oh. So, I feel like we're getting, uh, so what time is it? 12, 16. Got a lot of extra stuff I wouldn't normally do done today, so that is always good. And, uh, just rolling through the to-do list, and I feel accomplished. Got some kids playing a fish game over here, part of our um, schooling for our no AO science that we do was to work on building a fish, creating a fish to eat the prey. And so the littles are playing on that. I'm playing on it for a while actually this morning. Um, 
they've been having a good little time doing that. Jordan, that's not an application you're gonna hand in, is it? Okay, I was gonna say because you can't do orange pen. <laughs> oh. All right, so it's 2.32. We still got a ton of stuff done today. I have all my sticky notes for all the sizes that I had laid out on the table, the ones with the table clean. He's upstairs putting clothes away. Or no, actually I think he's outside helping kids get bikes ready to go bike riding. And uh, I've gotten lots of stuff done. Actually, I'm about to lay out the health books for the boys because they want to do health to make sure that we finish early for the school year. Um, and then put this health book away because I'm done with my seven, sixth grader for health. But yeah, we've been getting a lot done, more than normal. I'm gonna switch out some laundry, I think. Yeah, the laundry machine is not doing right now and I got a load to put away. So today's been a very, a very good day. Actually, let me take you guys outside. I wanted to show you guys what the kids have been working on. They've taken some ashes and mixed it with water. And what's up, Zachary? Um, so they've been working on I think this is a cow. I think the kids, are, they're really artistic. I just love it so much. I think Winter did this one. It's really cute. Bye guys, be careful. And then, um, just watching them. A couple of kids road off here. I don't know if y'all can see them. Winter in Brooklyn. Left with their friend Zachary. And so, okay, let me go back to it showing you. And then Brooklyn did this one. Very cute. Very cute. I don't know who did this one. But I just wanted to show you all that before the rain came and washed it all away. So yeah, they, they took ashes from the fire pit, mixed it with water, and um, used the black to draw the outlines and then took chalk and co colored those in. Hi, babe. How's it going? How do you feel? Right. Yeah? Still feel like organizing the garage some more? Okay. I'm just putting the chair We just need a bigger Same. garage. Oh, that too. <laughs> you know, when I finish building the clothes, I probably... Uh, come back out here and just to kind of sweep it out. Yeah, good sweep every once in a while is good. Yeah. Well, yeah, he got those bikes up there and put his ladder all the way across. He always has this area over here organized pretty good. The kids kind of mess it up every once in a while, but pretty much it's pretty good. I'm gonna throw this in the garbage because it's come off of... Hey, Milo. No, the treadmill's not a toy. Um, but now I'm gonna go back in the house and go ahead and take care of this laundry. But it's such a pretty day out. It's 78 degrees, the humidity is low. So, it's just really good. We're enjoying our cold this day. Okay, so, everyone found my speed jump rope for me. This is really tiny. I think I got, oh, it's too dark to show you there. But I think I got it from Aldi. Um, let's see if I still got the skills to go for a long time. <laughs> Definitely don't want to hit yourself with this because it will make you cry. good jump rope since I haven't been running because I didn't get to finish out this year like I wanted to but it's okay I'm not worried about it I'm not gonna get down on myself about it and I'll pick it back up when it works again
But I don't know, when you start, when you exercise, when you haven't exercised in a while, do you get itchy? I do. Like, right now, sometimes my legs get itchy. It's just interesting. It is such a pretty day out here. Listen. Such a pretty day out here. I just want to sit on the back patio. Hazel's sleeping, so she might hear me talking and then wake up. Ooh. Ow. So. Oh. I got a child out here shoveling leaves. No? A kid asking me if it's dinner time? Yeah, it's 2.48. But this is the same child who decided not to eat lunch, so. That's pretty much the option. I made, I think today was macaroni and cheese. He didn't want macaroni and cheese, so he didn't eat anything. So now he's waiting until dinner, which I'm not sure he'll particularly like dinner either. He's my pickiest eater. Um, but he's still alive, so there's that. Ooh, let me show you this guy, this girl shoveling these leaves. See if I can zoom in. Literally shoveling leaves. Why is she shoveling leaves? We'll probably pick up the leaves. Ooh, that's a wasp. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like wasps. We'll probably pick up leaves on Sunday, maybe. Sunday afternoon. Because we already did it this weekend. We try to pretty much do it every week when fall begins and the leaves start falling off the trees. Because in the first house that we had, we did not do it in a reasonable amount of time. And it was terrible trying to pick up those leaves afterwards it was absolutely terrible so we try to stay on top of it once a week every 10 days every 15 days every so often we we try not to wait until every last leaf has fallen off the tree I'm gonna go back inside and fill this laundry. So basically this is dinner, this is a honey beef stir fry. It's got carrots in it, ground beef, honey, soy sauce, sesame oil, and I just put some tomatoes on the side with it. And so that's dinner for Monday night. Dinner is done. It is 6.22. Kids are outside with the dogs. Oh, there was thunder, I just ran across the screen. Oh, and we got, go Hazel. Go Hazel, go Hazel, go Hazel, go Kara, go Kara, go Kara, go Kara. Do you dance? Do you dance? Do you dance? Hey. Yeah, go girlfriend, go. Hey. Go girlfriend, go. All right, now we had our dance cameo. Um, but I th we just finished dinner. Uh, and I made this, but doctored it up my own way and mon modified it my own way, which is a sesame honey beef stir fry. That's what it looks like because I don't separate all the different things because I'm a one pot meal type of person. So that's what I did. It's good. I had a tomato on the side, so a couple slices of tomatoes on the side. Now I'm about to tackle this laundry and wind down for the night, probably watch The Chosen. We're on season two, episode two. Um, and it's been really good because we, our actual, our Bible study has been like coinciding, or I don't know if that's the right word, but has been lining up with the show. So we're able to be like, oh, okay, that that's where they, you know, took liberty to add information or whatever. Um, so we've been really enjoying it. So we're probably gonna sit down, take showers. Well, take showers, sit down and watch maybe two episodes of The Chosen. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe a couple episodes of Paw Patrol too, because why not? But 